Then when you are asleep, the surgical team will make an incision just above the navel. A tube-shaped collar, called a trocar, will be placed inside the incision to hold it open. Harmless carbon dioxide gas will be used to inflate the abdomen, serving to enlarge the work area and to separate the organs. The team then inserts the laparoscope. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images that allow the surgeon to see the inside of your abdomen. Next, the team makes four more incisions, taking special care to keep the openings as small as possible. These openings will provide access for other surgical instruments. Using these instruments, your doctor will then cut the upper portion of the stomach from the rest of the organ. This upper portion forms a small pouch which is sealed with a stapling tool. The opening in the larger portion of the stomach is closed with staples. The next step is to divide the small intestine. The main part of the intestine is pulled upward behind the colon and positioned near the small upper stomach pouch. The other free end of the intestine is surgically stitched to the side of an intestinal loop. The other end is now attached to the small stomach pouch. A new route for food passing from the esophagus into the intestines has now been created. Finally, your doctor will check to make sure that all the new connections are secure and that there are no leaks. A drain is added to remove any excess fluids and the carbon dioxide is allowed to escape. Then the team withdraws all surgical instruments and the incisions are closed with sutures or staples. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied.